know, there's something about a treasure hunt. We all dream of finding something that could turn out to be valuable. So on this Teach Me Tuesday, we'll find out if those dreams might come true. I had a chance to find out more about metal detecting, learning from an expert who showed me some of his treasure and then gave me a chance to search for my own. Rodney Joslin has spent years searching for that next big discovery. He's the president of the Old North State Detectorist Club. He not only knows the equipment, he also knows the technique involved in finding metal items and artifacts. I found a gold ring one time that I, I about jumped up and down. Uh, it was a 1964 class ring. I uh, was fortunate in being able to locate the lady who lost it in 1967 and returned it. She, she never thought she'd ever see it again. And uh, that was just finding that and seeing that gold you know, peeking out of the ground is amazing. Yeah, that's the moment, the thrill we all hope for. But every find is special and every one has a story. Rodney knows that he's preserving history and he loves to share the details of the things he's discovered. War relics, silver coins, railroad items, even a wax seal fob that dates back to colonial times. Yeah, it was a prominent gentleman that would have had this, that he would have, it would have held, hung from his vest on a chain. And then when he was sending a letter, he would actually seal and put his stamp, which was a face, you can see that's a face of a person. So he drops that off a couple hundred years ago. Yes. And then you come along and yes. find it. I, I would guess this was definitely dropped in the late 1700s. I wanted to give it a try, so Rodney showed me some of the basics, starting with how a metal detector works. It's got the coil. Mm -hmm. Down here. Which then sends a signal up to the control box, which then sends a signal to your headphones, and it's all wireless, which is really awesome and, and great new technology. You'll also need a shovel. Rodney says be sure to buy one that's sturdy. If you're planning to search for items along the beach, a sifter scoop will come in handy. Uh, this you can scoop in, uh, sand falls out, and the item that you're looking for it just stays, stays right in there. Plus a pen pointer. That's a handheld detector to help you locate small items and something to carry all the stuff you dig up. It's set to go. My bag. Now I gotta fill it up. We started our search in a park next to Oak Hollow Lake in High Point. And I found that it's important to practice your technique. A really critical part is to try to keep the detector flat. So where a lot of people make mistakes is you go like this. Exactly. Yeah. You're like a pendulum or something. Exactly. You want to try to keep that coil flat to the ground. I got and, you. and then when you're walking, you want your pace to be where you're having a little bit of overlap. As you work your way across the ground, you have to look and listen. So you go back and forth over it, and when you see that number is consistent, and it's in the 40s like that, it more than likely is a bottle cap. Those numbers help you gauge how conductive the metal target might be. It could be a penny, possibly. Okay. Uh, I would dig this to see what it is. Well, let's give it a try. I'm, so, I'm, I'm saying about right here. Yeah. All right, and then put your pen pointer there. Okay, so getting, your pen pointer is going crazy going right, right there. there. Right there. So you know I'm not going to have to dig a very big hole. That pen pointer uh, will go down roughly a couple inches. Kind of depends on how big mm -hmm. the item is. So I, I, what I do is I. Yeah, it's pointing right to it. What, there, right there we go, right, right there. there. Hold on a second. So, Hold on a second. Let's check this out. Golden <laughs> color, but I'm. Whoa! Oh, you just got look a at this. You just got to change. Look at this. Look at this. Yep. Your, piece, your first jewelry, your first hole. Look at this. Your very first hole with a detector. You're going to think we planted this here, but I'm not kidding you. Your very that first came hole up. with your uh, first oh time out detecting. Oh my gosh. And it's a, is that a bracelet or yeah, a, a bracelet. Ankle? It's a bracelet. Uh, yeah, and it's possible. I, I don't know if it's gold or not, but boy, that'd be awesome if it, if it was gold, that'd be real We were awesome. talking about that moment. I just I got know. the moment. You just got the moment. That, that's incredible. I thought we were going to find a penny. I see this gold pop up, and look at that. That is amazing. Can you believe that? I'm actually kind of jealous because I... Look at this. You gave me a shot, and here I go. Yeah. Coach, thanks. You're welcome. This is awesome. I'm look happy at this. for you. Even after a big find, you've got to be a good steward of the land. You'll want to replace the ground you just dug up. Exactly. Just like a divot at a golf course, you want to make sure very important to try to leave push it over and then push that down in there yeah it's very important you want to try to leave the property so nobody can tell you were there we weren't finished though another signal just a few feet away got our attention now see that's 70 77 keep, keep swinging 
There you go. So it's, it's more consistent on the 75 and it's bouncing around a little bit. Once again, the numbers tell the story and this one is worth digging. Then using the pen pointer to zero in on the target. There it is right there, it's a coin. You got a coin. Quarter. It's a quarter, and I'll be honest with you, I really didn't think it was going to be a quarter. A quarter would normally show a result in the 90s instead of the mid-70s. If it has multiple coins, like if it had a quarter and a, a nickel, mm -hmm. it would actually, it can average out that number between the two. Between, and reading so the, them that the way. quarter would typically be in the 90s, a nickel is going to be down around 60, okay. and it may actually give you a, a number in the 70s because it averaged the number between the two. Okay, there is something, there is something, something else, else in, there. in the plug. Wait a second. Yeah, you have Will something else wait? in the plug. So they probably, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a nickel. There, there we go. There it is. Look, I got uh, a nickel, nickel and a penny. And a penny. And that's what was causing so, that number. That's why you're the expert. It's, it, it's exactly so, what you said. It, they, the two kind of came together yeah. in average. Rodney was right. Experience pays off. But even the old pro will admit there's a lot of luck involved. I was lucky enough to turn up a bracelet and some spare change. A great day with some great finds. This is awesome. I'll tell you what, you've got beginner's luck going I, on. I, I will take the beginner's luck. Well, if you want to give it a try, you'll need to buy a detector. And Roddy says there are a number of cheap ones available online, but they often don't work very well. It can be kind of frustrating for a beginner. He says there are a number of brands that offer entry-level machines around $250 or so. There's also a shop in Burlington that can help. Barbie Detector Sales, they're on South Church Street. He says they really know their stuff, can help steer you around. And the folks in the Old North State Detectorist Club always willing to help. Check out their website or their Facebook page too. One thing they emphasize though is only detecting on land where you have permission to search. Mm -hmm. Well, make sure you have permission and you let the landowner know about anything you find. You can uh, find out more by joining the club, or they've got some more information on their side, too. That's cool. We impressed when we pulled up our big I uh, was gold so find. impressed. Look at that. It is not real gold. It's it costume jewelry. But and we kind of suspected that, but we looked it up. and it's, But it's still pretty cool. It's very cool. Yeah. It's very cool. And we, you're, you're rich. We, well, we found a, a total of 31 cents. So I'm 31 cents richer from that. But would you see something gold come out of the ground. Oh yeah. It is one of those moments. And this it is really still is. in good shape. I mean, you cleaned not, it up nicely. Yeah, we, we kind of cleaned it. We could scrub it a little more there, but it's kind of cool. That is very and cool. And it's, it's the thrill of the hunt. Yes. That's what gets you back yes. out there. So yes. anyway, check out their web page and their, their Facebook page too, Old North State Detectorist Club, and they can help you out too.